The success of the London Olympic Village will be measured not just by how it performs during the Games, but by how it works as a home for thousands of Londoners and as a new community for years afterwards. Athletes live in the village for almost a month of their lives. So when you think about what do you do in one month of your life, that's what the village needs to provide at Games Time. It does need to be a very secure, private, home away from home for them so that they're not focusing on the worries of day-to-day -day life but they're just wondering about how they're going to win that gold medal. Australian company Lend Lease was brought in as master developer for the Olympic Village following years of successful involvement with Olympic Games that began with Atlanta in 1996. Seventeen architects were brought in to work on all aspects of the London Olympic Village. According to Lend Lease, the location of the village in East London was no surprise. Why the Olympic Games are in East London is no surprise. It has been one of the poorest, most deprived, economically challenged parts of London. And for the government, long-term regeneration in London is about revitalising, transforming East London. The Olympics will go a long way to starting that process. And it's already happened now with what's being delivered for the Games, the Olympic Park, the Athletes' Village. Previously, this was where the park was, and specifically the village. Old rail sidings below the floodplain, infrastructure that actually couldn't even be used. The Games has been the catalyst to really make that happen, along with some other government initiatives like the new international rail line going through it. So, for the local community, they now have fantastic new infrastructure, both commercially, jobs, retail, housing, schools, and it really will bring forward future development within the area. Mr Urquhart says the logistics involved in building the village was military in scale. It involved 2,000 vehicle movements in and out of the site every day and a total of 40,000 workers. A large proportion of workers came from the local community which helped with new employment pathways and on-the-job training. For the first time ever we have delivered an Olympic village without seriously hurting anybody. Um, that for us is more important than anything else particularly when we've had 40,000 people work on the site, 50% of whom do not speak English as a first language. We've conducted incident injury free cultural change programs in nine separate languages. Our leadership engagement from the top right through to the guys on site, for us, is what this project has been all about and a fantastic outcome for us and also for industry. The village was also delivered on time and within budget, which is something all future host countries will be striving for. There's no doubt the athletes in 2012 will experience the best village ever.